welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and we're here for episode 21, I believe, of our Pokemon X playthrough here on the channel. Currently, we're on the east, nope, west coast of the Kalos region here on route number 8. We're making our way up north towards the next town, the next gym, actually. Uh, Silage Town, I believe it is. I like to call it Cyclage Town. As you'll see, there's a lot of uh, bike stuff going on there. And... Okay, this is good. This is what I was looking for before. I wanted to try to talk to this person. This person way up here on the mountain. Would you care for a sky battle with the sky trainer? I would love to do this, but isn't this a shame? You don't have any flying Pokemon. We sky trainers only battle with Pokemon that can fly in the sky. So that's twice now we've met one of these sky trainers and we can't battle them just yet. So I think what I'm going to do sometime soon, I want to add a Pokemon to our team that can fly. Because I'm thinking the more... You know, the further I go into the game, uh, not having access to such a Pokemon, I'm missing out on some experience points from some of these trainers. So, yeah, I think at some point soon I'll be adding someone else to the team that can take care of those. But, speaking of the team, let's recap who we have right now. We are all in line properly based on levels. We've got, starting off our uh, Sinnoh starter, we've got Slip in the Piplup at level 21. He has Torrent Ability. He is a brave nature, holding sharp beak to add power to the peck. Also has bubble beam, ice beam, and cut. Next is our uh, Santa Lune Forest Pikachu Blitz at level 21. He is a static. He is a static Pokemon. Well, kind of. He has static. He is a mild Pokemon, not holding anything. I forgot. We got to find an item. He's got Electro Ball, Quick Attack, Thunder Wave, and Play. Nice. Next is Axel, our Snorlax Buster here, the little Badoo at level 22. Badoo at 22. News at 11. How about that? Poison Point is the ability, of course, poisoning if something touches him. The ability, sorry, the nature is Calm. He's holding Miracle Seed to power up Mega Drain, which is almost out of PP. We are close to the next town. That's not bad. Venoshock, Stun Sword, and Worry Seed as well. And last but not least, our Ka uh, Kalosian starter, Springer, our Froggy Deer, at level 22. He has Torrent to power up his water moves in a pinch. He has a Lonely Nature, holding Amulet Coin for a little bit of extra cash after battles. And Water Pulse Quick Attack taught him Rock Smash last episode. And Smoke Screen. Not sure if I'm going to keep Rock Smash on him. Probably, most likely not. But for the time being, it is good for getting some uh, hidden items along the way. Maybe some Pokemon encounters. You're a big one, all right. I can tell from my years of experience as a fisherman. Okay, so what are we going to battle here? So, uh, as I said before, I'm doing some bulk recording just to, for the sake of like getting all my recording you know, stuff set up here get it taken care of several episodes back to back and it makes things easier for me throughout the week but you know what i didn't really anticipate this part of it oh level 20 hmm. let's go for that oh i want to go for peck oh well i slow it down with some bubble beam power although special oh yeah special defense is not that great and we're now confused but uh uh i asked a question i believe at the end of the or maybe not the end but during the last episode and when i do bulk recording I sometimes forget what has been said at random points throughout the episode. So I'm getting your feedback on a question that I asked you in the comments. And I know Unknown Spike had said, you can use them, but not in battle. Like, use them outside, not in battle. And I'm thinking, what was I asking about? Berries? Um, and I couldn't remember. I'm going to actually switch into Blitz to try to take this uh, Star You down. And so Pika had also mentioned something about, you know, uh, showing a trainer's or showing an NPC's stats and stuff, and I'm like, what the heck are you guys talking about? I have to watch my own episode. Oh, you're ground type now? That's messed up, man. Hang on, I gotta switch again? Seriously? So was, does camouflage, I think it just changes based on the field you're on, not based on what the opponent's attacks are. I think that would be conversion, or conversion too, so. Slip in should be able to come back in and finish this off. But anyway, so I went back and watched the uh, the episode to see what was my question to you folks. And the question was about... We had sp uh, spoken to someone in Ambrette Town, I believe, either in the last episode or the episode before, where they wanted to see a Pokemon with a speed stat of, I think, 121 or higher. And currently, I don't have anyone on the team with that. But I said I could go to the PC, because I'm pretty sure from the past generations... I want to learn Bide? I think I'm okay without getting by. It's not like if he had more defense, maybe, but he's not the most defensive little piplup in the world, so we're gonna skip out on the bye. And Blitz doesn't level up really. Oh well, I knew you were a big one. I could tell from a many years as a fisherman. 
Okay, you slip and calm down, sir. You're not evolving. You're my little piplup. You're gonna stay that way. But anyway, my decision on whether or not to be able to use Pokemon from the PC for things like that... Since that's an optional feature, like, you know, we don't need to talk to these people and show them certain things. Like, there was also, a few towns back, somebody wanted to see a Psychic-type Pokemon. And, you know, I, I have Psychic types in the PC. I could show them that. But since it's not mandatory, and it's an optional thing in the game, I think what I will do, as Sailor Pika said, wait until I have one on my current active team. Or, basically, until the a particular Pokemon is ready to be seen, or ready to join the team. Because, uh, think of it like HMs. In a playthrough, if you currently don't have anything that can learn Fly, for example, on your team, then you're not really just able to go and like catch whatever you want. Now, this is, of course, a standard Nuzlocke where you don't have a whole bunch of boxed Pokemon already waiting for you. Uh, if you don't have anyone at, your, at that point that can learn Fly, you're not simply allowed to go and get an extra Pokemon that can Fly to be able to use Fly. So it's an optional kind of thing. So, since... Like, I could technically get the item, whatever the person gives me, for showing them what they're looking for. I could do that and just store away the item, but if I do that a few times, I might lose track of what's a stored item and what I already have that I can access. So I figure just to save myself any confusion and not give myself too much of an advantage, I will only talk to those people and show them what they're looking for if they can currently join the team. And right now, the four that we got is all we got. That will be changing soon-ish, but anyways... For the time being, I think that's what we'll go with. I'm getting tired of wearing the swimsuit. I think I'll make this my last battle in it. So, as soon as we're done this battle, uh, boys and girls, avert your eyes, because I don't know what we're about to see. But we do see a flying type. Oh, and there's one of those trees. Now, Sailor so Pika, I did reread the uh, comment. If we have a move, apparently, like Twister, Air Cutter, or Blizzard, we can hit those trees and knock down berries. We ain't got none of those... Uh, types of attacks yet. And this mask green is actually level 22. This is kind of scary. Well, we resist this, but I mean, it is level 22. Okay, it's not bad, it's not bad, it's not bad. Too bad their gust attack can't knock that tree down. Is there a tree behind me? Are they going to get berries after this battle? It is possible. I don't see one, though. What if it's like there's some Pokemon that have pickup? What if they could actually knock down a tree? Actually, no. Forget that craziness, that's a wild idea, but this kind of makes sense. If you have a Pokemon with pickup, and if you knock down a tree and get berries, can you get the berry during the match? That would be cool. I'm not tired of wearing swimsuits, just of this one. All I need to do is buy a new one. Okay, I think she's... we're good. No uh, age restriction on here? Okay, awesome. I wonder which town's boutique I should shop at for my new swimsuit. Each boutique carries different colors, so it's hard to make up my mind. That was cool. Like, they introduced the concept of... Uh, I still have my item finder out. Uh, or dowsing machine, it's called. But they introduced, of course, character customization in this generation. Ooh, we got a hard stone power-up. Rock attacks don't have any, but I mean, it could uh, be useful later. But they made it so whatever, you cl whatever clothing you find is what you get. Style, color, that's that. But with Sun and Moon, they introduced in the Festival Plaza dye shops... So you can choose a basic shirt and dye it whatever color you want based on what berries you have. And I like that. You can have so much customization, so many options in Sun and Moon. Advanced tips. I see. You can use the move rock. <laughs> the sign speaking to me. I see. You can use Rock Smash. Use Rock Smash to break rocks, and you'll sometimes find items or Pokemon. I said those out of order, but that's fine. Uh, is there any more rocks to smash? I don't believe so. I can connect to the internet or go to a crowded place and meet other people? Wow, that's not good promotion for our current pandemic situation throughout the world. Would you stop talking to me, computer thing? Taking off the item planner. Okay, we've made it to Cyclage City. This is where people like to bike. But this is also where we could meet uh, some new faces, pick up some new items. I'm going to avoid the uh, Karate Man for a moment here, see what's going on here in the house. If you have a Pokemon, hold an item and trade it to someone, you can give your trading partner a nice little surprise. Either a cool potion, a cool Pokeball, or a whole new species. Metal coats can be a thing. You know what? Some Pokemon evolve when you link trade with them or link trade them with friends. Hi trainer. If you'd like, take this with you. I'm gonna assume this is a Castelia cone. No, but kinda similar. Something something you can eat. The whipped dream. Some Pokemon like whipped cream, and others like aromas and flavors. It all takes it takes all kinds of Pokemon to make the world go around. So that, of course, I believe, 
is I've never done it. I've never evolved a Swirlix, but I think of Swirlix, a fairy type in this game. Have we seen Swirlix yet? I don't remember if we have, but I believe if it holds the Whip Dream, it can evolve through trading. Can I get up here? No, I can't. <clears throat> Excuse me. Either that's a bike way to get up or just a way down. But there's an item up there. You know I want to go find it. What's up, sir? I can't stop and talk to you. What's going on? You'll find the gym leader in the city at the top of that hill over there. I may have lost to him in a bicycle race, but I'll get my revenge in a Pokemon battle. So I kind of like this. Based on timing, I think we got plenty of time to check out the city, and we don't have to jump into a battle just yet. I will be doing some grinding outside before taking on this gym, of course. No luck fishing? Try another spot. Move not very effective? Try another one. When things don't go well, it's always a good idea to try something else. That's what, like, people need to know. Just because if the first thing that you do doesn't work, that doesn't mean that's the end of the show. You know, it's not the end of the road. Try a different thing. Do something different. I was, uh... I've introduced my nephews to some of the older, uh, the older, say, GameCube games that I have, and one of them he was playing through Sonic Adventure. Now, of course, some of the Sonic games are known for being kind of glitchy, kind of buggy, and annoying to get through your first time. Like, once you, like, now that I've become accustomed to some of the glitches and stuff, I don't find it really that bad. I just know, you know, logically you're thinking, if I'm running down this path, I should run straight. Well, there's parts of the game where if you're too close to the wall, you clip through the floor and, and down you go. Not ideal. Also not ideal is I didn't heal, so I need to... Uh, I might just even run away. What's your level at there, little dwebble? You are a level 15. Yeah, we're gonna mosey on our way. But anyway, so there's a part of uh, Sonic Adventure. My nephew was stuck, and it was, it was start, starting to frustrate him, which I completely understand. As I say, the game is not perfect, but... Instead of trying a, a different way to get past the obstacle, he just, like, put the controller down and was just, you know... When when young kids are upset, they just, they pout, so... But, like, that doesn't help anything, so at that point, you know, I just said, let's just, uh, let's turn the game off for now. But, there was another point I was gonna make about trying something different, and I lost it. Story time with Professor Chaz is over, unfortunately. Because, once again, the Professor's train of thought, 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 what? The Professor's train of thought has uh, hit the guardrail and derailed itself. Look at all this. What is all this? You know what this... Okay, what does this remind you folks of, if anything? This is the section that I'm here right now. I'll tell you in a second. I always think very carefully about which Pokeball I use when trying to catch a new Pokemon. Me too. I think, do I want to keep my tradition of Pokeballs going? Or, yes I do. So, that's my thought process. This reminds me of Koopa Beach from the original Super Mario Kart. Just the way... It, like, the... the drive path goes through the water a little bit and the splashing sound i just got a nostalgia blast of koopa beach it's a crack bolt yeah let's break this rock see if we can find something i want to see if we find the thing i'm looking for i also didn't heal again yet but there is a pokemon that can come out of these rocks that from what i recall does happen i might be, mis uh, be mistaken but it's just weird to see in this setting show us the pokemon show us the pokemon show us what i'm looking for I want to see it. I want to see it. That's not what I'm looking for. There is a tree back there. Uh, Onyx, I believe, can sometimes pop out of these rocks, which is ridiculous because there's a tiny rock on the beach. You break it. There was an Onyx hiding in that rock. But it's cool to see Onyx in a beach setting. I just realized, with the uh, Alola Photo Club, I could make that happen, maybe. Take my Onyx Medusa and get some photos on the beach. I'm going to get better and stronger than, and then climb the Tower of Mastery in Shalur City. First things first, I'm off to defeat Grant, the gym leader of this city. Good luck. I was thinking, too, how my team, I've got two water types, I've got a grass type. Uh, the leader of this town uses rock-type Pokemon. And I thought, oh, this is going to be a breeze. And then I remembered which actual Pokemon he uses. So it might not be as much of a breeze as I'm letting on right now, but we will see. It's always so hard for me to decide what items to give to my Pokemon. Do I give them something to boost their strong points, or something that covers th for their weak points? That comes down to the individual trainer, of course. Uh, you gotta figure, what is more of a priority? Like, it, you could have something like what they call a glass cannon, where it hits fast, it hits hard, but one hit against it could take it out. And, of course, this is not Nuzlocke advice, because generally you don't want something to get one hit KO'd. But just for that extra little bit of power to make sure you get the knockout before you take a head back, you might want to boost it with a, a muscle band or... Is that a thing in this game? It is, isn't it? 
I think it simply adds power. I'm thinking also from the TCG. But either way, it comes down to each trainer how you want to do your style of battle. Customers who want to show off their dear Pokemon love our cafe. Do you want to spend time here? But remember, the price varies depending on where you sit. Let's just do this. Let's just see this. Where I want to sit. I'll spend a thousand go with a table. The terror sounds cool, though. We oui, certainly. Please sit at the table. But the terrace, though. You get to see things on the outside. So, do we fight people here? The cafe is known for the special juice. Enjoy. Uh, let's give it... Oh, why does it default tips to no? I... Ugh, I hate... Like, I know this isn't real life and anything, but... It hurts me when I don't give a tip. Also, where's the Pokemon? Uh... You gonna show me your Pokemon? How do I do this? I'm gonna walk right in front of your table. The fun part of a trip is an encounter. The person who said such a great line is, of course, me. Ooh, Carvana. I don't think we've seen that yet. Or I think we've seen that. That I spent a thousand bucks for that. Very cute Carvana, right? But my girlfriend is even more charming than that. Okay, uh, is that the best compliment you can give your girlfriend? You're more charming than a Carvana. Rough times ahead, sir. I met this Pokemon in the Kalos region. It's the Pidgeotto of my destiny. And I don't think we've seen Pidgeotto yet. Of course, we got Pidgeot in my PC. Good old chirp. Partner of my destiny. Yes, I feel I'm going to meet that person in Kalos too. So, <coughs> she's already broken up with him from the sounds of it. Rough times ahead. For people in Kalos, a cafe is a place to exchange information. Traveling trainer, you might get a lot of information too. What do you have to say? Did I? Can I tip you now? Are you leaving already? I want to tip him. Please come again to brighten up this place. You know he spit in my coffee because I didn't tip him. That's messed up. No, no, no. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I was going to talk to the people at the counter, but uh, not for another, like, 500 bucks. That ain't worth it to that extent. Trainer tips to teach a Pokemon to move from a TM. We know how to do all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, it's the hotel. We're going to find Mr. Bonding. James Bonding. Welcome to Hotel Cyclage. Yes, I'm pronouncing it wrong. I call it that because this is a city all about cycling, which I would assume is where the name was inspired from. The Hollow Caster was developed at that Lysandre guy's laboratory, right? Was it? He didn't tell me that in a hologram just yet. Crazy talking about what? How come there's always a fur fru in these places? Sleep can cure all of life's problems. You should let your Pokemon get some rest. TM coming in. TM for rest. Not sure it's really going to be useful for my team right now, but everything can learn rest except your basic things like Magikarp, Caterpie, Kakuna, um, maybe other things. Uh, let's see. Sleep to fully recover HP. Status conditions will be cured too. Well, that's actually not fully accurate because uh, rest does not cure the sleep condition. In fact, it causes the sleep condition. I just love talking in my sleep. You should give it a try. Oh, these people are nice. They give you a decent combo. Rest and sleep talk. I've never really relied on that, though, because when you're asleep, when you use sleep talk, it randomly chooses another one of your three moves to use. But there is that chance, that 33% chance, that it's going to choose rest, which you can't use while you're sleeping. So I find the best use of sleep talk is to wait for the opponent to put you to sleep then you sleep talk, it'll choose one of three attacking moves. You don't have to uh, run the risk of using rest by mistake. Only Pokemon that are asleep can you sleep talk. When the sleeping Pokemon uses it, one of the other moves it knows will go off. As I just said. Now, is it actually barking in French? Woof. I think it is. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some kind of new energy. That's what Professor Rowan from the faraway Sinnoh region spends his time researching. Hey! Slippin knows him. I do too, actually. I don't know why I specified Slippin before me. Hiya, and welcome. Oh, this is perfect. Would you take this? I got it from a guest. A destiny knot. It's like it was my destiny to not miss this item. There we go. Double negatives. Gotta love them. It just seems wrong to sell or throw away a gift, right? That is true. Indeed. You're not Mr. Bonding. The Kalos region is nice and all, but you should really check out my region. We have this town that you wouldn't believe. Oh, never mind. You'll see it in due time. This was... They were alluding to Alola already. See? It has to be. Because he's like he says, you'll find out later. Alola region confirmed as early as Gen 6. Isn't that cool? Am I reading too much into that? Maybe. Am I making a big show of it to fill up some time? Pretty much, absolutely. Hey, 
Hey, how's it going, friend? I am Mr. Bonding, the expert on O powers. Let me ask you just in case. Do you need to hear an explanation about O powers? No powers. Hey, that's my friend. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time. We got no power. Is now prize money power level one. Again, I feel like the O powers might make a Nuzlocke style adventure. <clears throat> excuse me. A little bit easier than it should be, so haven't been using them. Maybe someday. Prize money increases. No, nope, prize money power increases prize money from battle. You can use O powers from the PSS, and the more you use them, the better they get. Use them a bunch. Okay, see ya. Good enough. It's good to at least collect all these, though, just to have them for options if and when I do make use of them. But not to make the Nuzlocke super easy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not that we have been having, like, a an easy time already. You know, we've been breezing through this game. What negativity could possibly, possibly, possibly come our way in the near future? This gym battle coming up? Pfft, piece of cake! I do want to talk it up to make things more interesting when things do start going awry. Would you like to take a simple quiz? Yeah. Here's the question. Which of the following berries cures confusion? That would be the person berry. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. All right, now answer the next question. The move Swagger also raises the target's attack, but also causes which status condition? That would be confusion. And I bet we're going to get the Swagger TM. Here's a prize. Okay, we got the other thing. The person berries. Here's a combo you can use in a double battle. Have one of your Pokemon hold a person berry. Use Swagger on that Pokemon. Attack goes up. Berry cures confusion. Then it can hit the opponent harder. There are lots of combinations in double battles. Indeedy do there do be. A little Fletchling on the ground. Chirp, chirp, chirping away. The Kalos region is so big, it has three different Pokedexes. I wonder just how many Pokemon there are. So, actually, so that... Fletchling just said Chirp, you know, technically not using its own name, actually using my Pidgeot's name, which just made me think, when you nickname a Pokemon, and this is just like a hypothetical, but if, when you nickname a Pokemon, do you think that should enable that Pokemon to not only say, like, Pidgeot, for example, but to also say its nickname Chirp? I don't know how that would alter their, their voice box or whatever to be able to say other stuff, but if you named it, like, uh, Pizza, could the Pokemon then say, you know, Total Dial Pizza, something like that. That would be cool. Unnecessary, yet cool. Pokemon are good at some things, and humans are good at other things. If we come together and combine our strengths, we can achieve great things. Indeed. And Chai Chirp. See? They nickname it Chai Chirp, it can say Chai Chirp. Okay, I gotta get ready to go heal, though. We're almost out of time. I think what I'll do, I'll check the rest of the town later, but I do want to go for a heal and save it up and do a little bit of grinding before we finish off the town and talk to the gym leader. So that's going to be our game plan for now. I'll come back and finish, you know, investigating other places. Might get some more items, some TMs, as I say, with RPGs or any game in general. Talk to everybody, even if you're just playing it for the gameplay. Talking to different characters can give you items or unlock certain things that make your gameplay more fun and more accessible. So talking is important, kids. Buckle up. But with that, that is going to wrap up episode number 21 of the Pokemon X playthrough here on our channel. Thank you folks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, feel free to click like down below. If you want to subscribe for some more Pokemon content, such as Pokemon X, Pokemon Go, Pokemon TCG Online, feel free to do so with the subscribe button down below and click the bell notification button to get updates when new videos and streams are coming here on the channel. You can also click join down below to see what perks are available to people that want to support the uh, or sponsor the channel to support myself and my adventures. And feel free to share this video or the playlist linked in the description with any and all of your friends across various social mediums that might want to check out some classic Pokemon adventures. I feel weird saying classic at this point because this is Pokemon X and is still, in my mind, super recent. But I guess time goes really quick as far as technology goes, so it's kind of classic. Anyways, that's it for today. Professor Chaz is now signing off. Thank you folks once again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.